Hi guys, you join me in a Trinity Mold video. Uh, we're in a class 31 at Eastbourne. And we're uh, now sitting off uh, for Lewis. So today we're going to be talking about just a bit about how the channel's going, basically. Right. So, when we get out of the um, out of the junction area, when we can go a bit faster, we'll. Uh, I'll start telling you. I put the game down, the game volume down a bit, so that you can actually hear what I'm saying. Right. Coming over these junctions. Okay, we can now speed up. Right, so I was thinking the other day about the content and at the time of filming this video, how the channel's doing and everything. So I was having a look. And we're on 76 subs, which is quite a fair amount for power tip of the channel. You know, not a, an extremely regular streamer or anything. Um, so, um, I was just thinking, um, um, the thing that most that I most thought about is that I don't, th I think I don't do a lot of gameplay videos because I haven't got a lot to do gameplays about. So, the thing about Train Sim World is, even though it's like the, for me the best train simulator, train simulator out there, at the moment it's got very little content, which just made me think, you know. And what I I ended up concluding was that Train Simulator, so Train Sim Classic which is my second favourite train sim should make an appearance. The thing is, even though I'd really liked for this to ha happen I haven't got a computer that will let it do it. So eventually, in about 8 years 5 to 8 years, I've saved enough to be able to get one. I know it sounds like mad but I will eventually bring Train Simulator, even if it's 2025 to the channel um, unless Train Sim World really gets buffed or something and then I'll just stay on Train Sim World but it'll be on PC so the thing about the, the only thing that puts that doesn't because of course then I could stream also like Spanish routes you know routes from around the world or we could create our own routes and stuff so the only thing that put me off a bit was of course the price of a gaming laptop because I can't have a gaming computer because I haven't got anywhere to put it on. So I can speed up now. It would have to be a gaming laptop. I haven't got enough money for a gaming laptop because a gaming laptop is very expensive. So eventually I'll be able to get one and um, I'll bring a train simulator to the channel. And what I'm going to do now is um, say basically the advantages. See that's a rubbish sandbag there. The um, Train Sim Classic would bring alongside Train Sim World and the disadvantages. Um, so even though this is the better simulator in my opinion, Train Sim Classic has a lot of third party content, which is of course what, I'm, what most of us are interested in. So. So that's one. Um, so we could have Spanish roots and things like that. And number two is basically steam trains. I need the Riviera line in the 50s. I just do. Third, route planner, route creator, and scenario creator. 
to the in-game tools. And third, Armstrong powerhouse content. If I can, I'm not sure if I can. At the time of editing this video, I will put a small clip next to the one I'm recording so you can see the quality of Armstrong powerhouse. Uh, oops, DLCs. Um, so yeah, that, that would be for me the most optimistic and best um, future of the channel. Uh, being able to get hold of a gaming laptop, or not a gaming laptop, but a laptop, a, a la not a laptop, a laptop good enough to be able to run Train Simulator, um, and then bring it to the channel, as well as Train Simulator, of course. And as I said, steam engines, and we could make a custom route on everything. It would just, and I think I would make it into, instead of like a random gameplay video, more like a series. So, part one, just building a route. Part two, and the thing is, it's just so, I, for me right now, I've got two years until university. And um, once I've done my, I don't know how many years of university I've got to do, once I've done that, I've still got to get myself a job, which has got to be a decent one in order to be able to afford a computer. By the way, if just in case you're wondering what the max speed of a 31 is, 90. Um, so we have to be able to afford a gaming computer or laptop, best laptop, because as I said, I've got no nowhere to put a gaming computer. Um, so yeah. And then I would definitely bring Train Simulator and def Steam Engines would definitely make an appearance together with East Coast Mainline, loads of things. So, tell me your opinions in the comments. Would you really be interested in seeing Train Simulator, Train Sim Classic come to the channel? Because if you would, please do write in the comments. I would, if you really d would want to see Train Sim Classic come, I really need to think about how I'm gonna get get my hands on a more powerful computer but of course I would end up bringing it to the channel so yeah so please write oops I'm speeding whoa I'm nearly doing a hundred miles an hour slow down to fifth uh, 19 or 50 uh, there we go and give us power so as I said I would have to figure out a way of being able to bring it to the channel um just in case you're wondering no i am not accepting donations at the moment although i would accept advice in the comments on more than advice recommendations on any good piece of kit you know of or an easy uh, and a cheaper way to get your hands on a computer that's half decent to run train sim maybe not run it on ultra but at least on half graphics so yeah please tell that in the con in the please tell me what you think about that in the comments and then i will answer your comments as i always do and yeah i'll tell you how i'll give you in, in, let's just say updates on what the situation is going on of course as usual i'm going to carry on uploading train some more so for the rest of this video let's just enjoy the this wonderful class 31 go as we drive it to lewis whistleboard there we go 90 miles an hour, please. I love this train. I love this train so much. I might bring the power right down. We're now doing 90 miles an hour, which looks awesome in a Class 31 diesel electric. <laughs> Woohoo! 
bring the power up a bit. And there's a crossing coming up. There we go. Just for reference, before I mention uh, Armstrong Powerhouse, the sounds from this locomotive are Armstrong Powerhouse. As you, as you can hear, they're absolutely awesome. You can hear the brake club going on there. There we go. Now, release the brakes. Hear the compressor rattling on. Look at some cows down there. Absolutely love class 31s. And I would love to be able to drive a pannier tank, the flying Scotsman, even drive from Liverpool Central down through Warrington to Manchester Victoria. No, Manchester Piccadilly, sorry. That would be beautiful in British Rail era even with a steam engine the other time. That would be awesome. But first, as I said, I've got to get my hands on a more powerful kit. Right, we're coming up on Lewis shortly, which is the end of the video. And um, I just wanted to tell you this about how I was trying to get my hands on this, just so that you would know that I don't uh, not upload Train Simulator, not because I don't like it, but because I really haven't got the chance to upload it. But I would love to. Same way as I would love to drive a steam train in the, in the simulator and everything. So if any of you has got any uh, piece of advice or you can help in any way, please do. As I said, I'm not accepting um, donations or anything. Because there's no, there's no real point. Because we're a really small community at the moment, and there's really no point. And I don't want I don't want donations from my subscribers because this is just for me. This is I don't do it for the money. I do this because I like. I, I, well, one, I don't get any money, and two, I, I do it because I have fun doing it, not because I want to, you know, milk my subscribers, which is what a lot of YouTubers do. They're like, oh yeah, if you want me to do this, pay five pounds. No, I, I do this because and you can see, you can ask me to do things. Send British Railways Lookers at gmail.com send an email there and I'll uh, see what any suggestions you have of content and of course I'll do them because this is just fun, it's train fun in the end isn't it there we go, just slowing down coming up down on Lewis, so we'll start to get yellows oops, put the power down too quickly there got to slow down a bit there we go. Oh god, that AWS is horrible. It really is bad. Here comes. No. It's bad because. Not because the sound itself is bad, but because the implementation's bugged. There we go. I'm doing that with a plunger, by the way. AWS plunger, which my uh, nanny. Th um, thanks. Uh, uh, donate, not a donator, gave me basically as a present. There we go. Oh wow, another couple of 31s. This is a scenario I made, by the way. Got the uh, Further indicating we're taking the junction to, to Brighton instead of London. Right, we're now slowing down for this 10. Is just before these points. There it goes. We'll have our. We haven't got a magnet. That's funny. Or have we got one just as we enter the platform? That goes up to London, by the way. I love the sounds of 
those sounds. Sounds so nice. Yeah, there's the magnet there. Close to the signal. Too close, I would say. But network grey, I know what they're doing. This is a modern route, as you can see. It is actually just modern. But I'm, I'm using our a British Rail uh, loco on it. And that's the end of the scenario. So thank you very much for watching this video. As I said, please comment with any advice, help, or anything you could give. And thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.